Hello. So I wanted to give like a little bit of a preamble before the rest of the video that you're about to watch. So I've been thinking like for a while now what video I wanted to make to like get back into making video again. I can't speak. What video I want to make to like get back into making videos again. Give a little life update, talk about how I'm doing, um, how I'm feeling, all these kind of things. And I just haven't really gotten around to a single video or a single topic or anything. So here you have my little compilation of clips and vids that are probably not going to make a ton of sense put together, but I'm trying to like weave some themes into there, maybe. We'll see how good I can do with a free video editing software. So uh, I hope you enjoy. I apologize for bad sound quality, bad video quality, all these things. Your girl is broke and I don't really want to spend money on better equipment. So hope you enjoy regardless of my suffering. Anyways, see you on the flip side. Okay, needless to say, that packaging was all pretty curly. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. Um, you can tell a little bit. There's a seat, back, a box of something. So last time I checked in, uh, it's been a while. And frankly, since then, my life has been nothing but drama and just struggles all the way through. Not a fun time. Not a fun time to be Paris. Um, you may notice I look very different. And I'm just gonna be honest, that's because I lost access to hormones for a while. Um, like eight months. Yeah, not, not great. So yeah, I had a lot of forced changes back to my old self and I'm not very happy with it. And I feel like I look like not good times. Um, yeah, so I feel very awkward, to be honest. Um, I wish I looked better and more presentable and more feminine and happier, and I just don't feel it. So, yeah, um, it's not not great. So, um, I'll just talk about the reason why so it's not like, super weird and I have a bad tendency to be very vague and um, what's what I'm looking for? Very vague and very just like, I don't elaborate on details. I'll like drop a bomb and be like, yep, okay, bye. Um, I do that a little bit too much, so I'm trying to not do that. Also, I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm on camera, I keep... I'm trying to stop. Trust me. I also find it annoying. So, um... Long, and, long story short, the reason I lost access to hormones is because I couldn't afford it. It was too expensive. I spent... A lot of time not working because I was stressed and tired and my you know family need me to help and well they don't really pay me all that much money especially when you have college expenses you know you're gonna drop out of classes for a semester or are you going to delay getting hormones because it's not that expensive right how bad could it be but then you go a couple months and they're like hey I need you to get lab work done and I pay for that out of pocket and that's a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, I can't really afford to swing that. And then you go long enough, they're like, hey, you start again, you have to start from the beginning. And we're gonna need a whole new consultancy and that's a couple hundred more dollars and it's just too much. So I got to the point where I was like, yeah, I can't afford this, not even close. Um, so I stopped because I was like, okay, a little bit of stoppage, you know, it's not going to be too bad, whatever. And at first, perfectly fine. There were no changes, nothing went back. I was just cruising on the momentum I had already built. 
and eventually that momentum slowed down to a stop and then it started going backwards and that's when my mental health my just crashed all the way down which made me more stressed and it made getting schoolwork done harder and it made finding the motivation to actually work harder because that makes sense. So I'm back now. I've been on HRT for about two months now. It's been going great, but I'm at like the smallest dose again. Uh, Cause I have to start all over from the beginning and I love it so much. I just want to like double dose and do all the things I'm not supposed to and yeah. Ugh. So, I haven't, I've refrained. I have like a 99% success rate on taking my meds each day. And if I miss a day, I don't double dose because it's not good for you. And I'm following all the rules as closely as I can. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. And I've noticed slight changes so far, but it really hasn't been long enough for my face to change and my body fat to change and everything to go back to how I like it. So, kind of stuck like this for a while. And it's not nearly as fun as the first time when I started taking hormones because that was new and exciting and just like all over the place. And I was like, yes, everything's changing. Everything's getting better. Now I'm like, ugh, if I would have just not messed up then everything would be so much better right now and I'd be happier and more feminine whatever uh, so I'm trying not to be mad at myself it's not easy it's a struggle uh, but for the first time and basically forever I actually have a little bit of money I'm really bad about impulse spending it on new clothes and dinner out with friends and projects and kits and whatever. I'm really bad about that. Um, I'm trying to get better. You may have also noticed that I put on quite a bit of weight and I'm not very happy about that either, especially because it won't go away. Yay! I am... Ugh. I remember when I first started like transitioning, it was social transitioning. I was down like 40 pounds from what I would normally sit at. And now I'm currently plus 10 of what I normally would sit at. So I'm really upset about that. Apparently, it's it, hormones do weird things to your body. It makes losing weight harder, especially when you're taking estrogen. Also, I'm on an antidepressant now. Started that last semester when nothing was helping and my life was going and I was just not doing very well. I'm still on it um, for good reasons. If I stop, I don't feel good anymore and no. It's not like this is totally unexpected. It runs in the family, um, several family members. Once they reach their 20s, they just don't feel happiness anymore. So I'm really happy I'm part of the family. Yay. So anyways, i um, been trying to lose weight unsuccessful because I want to be, you know, when you're diabetic, it's hard and losing weight is good for you and Ugh, it's like a workout all the time, and I don't know what it is. It's just nothing. Nothing works. So, I'm not going to say that my life is totally terrible. I have been spending time with friends, and made a new friend, and lost a friend. I don't even know why. Um, I've been trying to eat healthier, I've learned how to make bread, you can actually 
And if you look right there, there's my bread maker. It's not doing anything at the moment, but I've got a bread maker and I've been loving it probably a little too much. I think that may also be one of the reasons why it's been so hard to lose weight. Um, I have been trying to date some more unsuccessfully. I unfortunately I didn't get to do anything fun for Pride Month. Like there's just not much happening in my small town and all the times it is happening, I'm busy and I'm working. So oh yeah, and speaking of working, I quit probably the only, only job I ever truly enjoyed because it wasn't a job I enjoyed anymore and it became really stressful and bad and not good for anybody involved. So next semester, I'll be finding more better work. Um, I really wanna work at the local co-op. I love that place and I love eating there. Um, it's really expensive though, but it'd be nice to have some friends who've worked there in the past and they all had great things to say about it. I think, all right, I kind of two lines of thought going on here. I have a lot of friends who work all the time and get good grades, but I have no idea how they do it. Um, whereas I really don't work as much as I should and I get bad grades. I don't get it either. So part of me is like, okay, well, maybe I'm stressed during the semester because I'm paying for everything out of pocket and it's a lot of work and I don't have anything extra to spend on myself and pamper myself and de-stress and do fun things with friends so I feel lonely and isolated and broke whatever so maybe I should work some more at a more consistent place that doesn't require me to use so much like brain power all my other jobs been like very brain intense, for lack of better words. Um, so they're leaving me tired. If I just find something that I can just do and make money and not have to worry about, maybe I'll feel better. And honestly, I don't know the answer. Or maybe the answer is take out, you know, a student loan and just try to keep doing what I've always been doing that doesn't work. Uh, mm, thought number three, I think I might be autistic. People have suggested it to me before, um, quite a few times in my life, to be honest. And it was always like a big, like, no, absolutely not. You can't be autistic. You're so whatever. And, Oh, most recently, I was talking to one of my friends, and she's autistic. She's like, you're just like me. And I was like, yeah, we do share a lot in common. She's like, no, I mean, like, not in the fun way. And I started doing more research and stuff and how it typically presents in women. And because trans, didn't really notice it or trigger the stereotype flags before. So I'm going to get someone to test me on that soon. Um, I brought it up with my sister at one point and she was like, well, maybe, but very mild. And the other people I talked to are all like, no, it's like very pronounced. So I don't know what, what's going on there. Well, hello. Guess who just got a brand new bike? Me. <laughs> Hello, um, I honestly don't know who this video is for, it might just end up being from myself, so, um, I'm doing okay, chilling here by the river, in a bikini that was made for someone with boobs much bigger than mine, and, yeah, I'm doing okay, not amazing. Not terrible. Um, I'm certainly sad right now. Um, 
feel like my hair is also a mess. I hate it. I need to get it cut soon or something because, ugh. First things first, I'm going to record this now because this bike arrived 10 minutes shy. Well, probably closer to 15. 15 minutes shy of exactly 48 hours when I ordered it. That's impressive, especially because packing details say it came from New Jersey. I'm in Colorado. That's impressive. I have been you know, trying to be happy with life and everything, and it's just okay. I was doing really well for a moment, and part of that was definitely because I thought I'd found the relationship. Turned out I didn't. And that really saddens me because it brings up a lot of my own personal just issues. And yeah, so now I feel really ugly and unwanted and yeah. That's not the worst I've ever felt, especially about this, but really really makes me wish I was different, that I, birthday. I know this is going to sound like a total cliche, but I wish I found myself beautiful. I, I just don't. And the worst part of me that says that I don't believe that because it's not true. And. You know, I see myself in this camera now, and I feel it. Um, I feel hurt by my own existence, and it sucks. And so I'm sure I'm outside, but I'm alone, and I like it that way. I like being in the sun, but just don't want to be me. It's so hard because everyone's like, love yourself and be authentic and this and that and this. And I feel like I just can't do both at the same time sometimes. You know, when I'm authentic, I feel not beautiful. I don't know. Truth be told, I just don't know how to fix myself sometimes. I'm oftentimes left wondering, like, is this all that's left of me? I'm so much happier than I was before, but it also just never feels like enough. I want to be someone that people want to love. And I feel like I'm the type of person that people like to like. There's a lot of packaging. <laughs> Um, I will say this, their packaging game, on point. Everything, anything that could have possibly made contact with the box was absolutely just packaged. Zip ties, tape, foam, cardboard, you name it. Everything. So I definitely recommend having one of these. Um, can't remember exactly what they're called off the top of my head, but little snippers. You know? I have a couple friends, not many, but every time I love someone, they just never feel the same way back, and it hurts, and it hurts because oftentimes I blame myself for it. Am I not funny enough? Am I not cute enough? Am I not smart enough? Am I not driven enough? Like. What, what's so wrong about me that I'm never enough for someone to love me? Oh, oh my goodness, I missed more of the packaging. See what I mean? It's just everywhere. Hello again. It's been a couple days and I'm back by the river again. You can't tell by the background noise. Um, got me for cut. Feeling okay about myself now. Um, I think I just need a couple days to return to my baseline of like 
I feel okay about myself, I feel terrible about myself, and just return to my normal zigzagging. Um, I'm tired and oh, I've been like swimming in the river for the last hour or two, so yeah, I probably just can't fix my hair because oh, it's everything. It also doesn't help that I kind of just fell face first into the water. Okay, almost dropped my phone, which, you know, it's not like I'm sitting right next to the water or anything. So, that could have been bad, but, oh well. I'm a little rebel, I guess. Um, I don't know, people, people tell me I'm beautiful from time to time, and I just can never really internalize it. It always feels like people are... Just telling me that so I can actually hear it for once in my life instead of you know my normal life where no I don't believe it myself and I don't know <sighs> I also feel like life would be easier if I just had a ton of money because then I could you know purchase a voice surgery and facial feminization surgery and bottom surgery and just change myself to someone closer to who I want to be. But I can't. I can't afford that. Not even close. I can barely afford my normal life as is. And that's with me being very young and having very little expenses. It's been great to be back on hormones again. Um, I feel like this is the kind of outfit that if my mom saw me in it, she'd either assume I was A, a sex worker, or B, on drugs, neither of which is true, but I'll admit, it is a little scandalous. Um, I don't know. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's like, ooh, fun, amazing, or is it just like, too much, like, I'm trying too hard. I can't tell. And it's kind of making me upset because I've like put this on and taken it off, put it on, taking it off, and each time I'm like, that looks good. I take it off and I'm like, hmm, maybe it didn't. I put it back on. I was like, no, definitely not like that. But what if I do it a little differently? <sighs> it's just no winning. And this is definitely, I don't know, maybe not even something I would wear out. Part of me is like, oh, it would be fun to like go downtown with some friends and have a night. Also, I'm totally starting to get a bikini tan, which is kind of fun, actually. I think it's, I don't know, I've never had anything like it. It's almost cute. Almost. I feel like I often oscillate between like loving myself and wanting to be expressive and be bold and be feminine and sexy and fun. And then I'm like, ooh, I hate this fat here. Or ooh, look how broad my shoulders are. I don't know. And then, like, are the glasses cute? Are they not cute? Like, I don't know. I take them off and I'm like, oh, I should put those back on because they're kind of fun. And then I put them back on and I'm like, is this me? Is it not me? Uh, I just can't tell. But then I actually like meet someone, like a dude, and I'm like, oh, do I really want to like be with you? I meet a girl and I feel even more insecure about myself. It's not a healthy cycle. So it's probably a good thing that I'm still single, but also I'm really lonely. And that's something that really sucks. And I don't want to blame not being trans, but it is kind of a fact that once you start to pass, your like look expectations for if you look good or not are very different. 
you know, before I like started to pass, okay, let me rewind even further. Before I started to transition, I was average. You know, I had a few people interested in me, wasn't really interested in them back for the obvious reasons. Um, but I wasn't like terrible looking. And then started transition and it's obvious that you're trans at that point. And so people have a very different expectation. Most of it's bad. I'm just gonna go up straight up and say it. Most of the time, if people can tell that you're trans and they're into you, it's a bad sign. Um, there are a few people who are okay, but you would not believe the number of creeps who would come after someone who's still obviously trans. Yeah, it's not fun. I, I don't like it. And then you start to pass. And, see what I mean? This top is just, it's not even a top, it's a scarf. Do I, do I do it like this? I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. But then you start to pass, and you don't look very different, but oh my gosh, everyone's expectations of you has like changed. You're no longer like mid or even kind of okay. You're at the bottom of the looks pull because you have all these like mannish features that you can't get rid of or that go away after a long time or just other compounding factors like health problems and you just add it to the pile of all the reasons people don't want to be with you and it kind of sucks and I think I'll start to feel a lot better once hormones actually kick back in and I start looking more feminine and hopefully I can finally start losing some weight so that I know I keep harping on the weight thing and I hope you don't take it as me saying like, oh, you know, people who are heavy aren't beautiful. It's different things for different people. But honestly, I just don't feel good when I have more weight put on. I'm not just talking like physically. My joints ache more. Clothes don't fit as well. Skill issue. Um, it's bad for being diabetic. So, there are a lot of reasons why I should really be skinnier, but being diabetic has given me the eating disorder that makes losing weight really difficult. So, I always empathize with everyone. Recently, last semester, uh, about a month, month and a half before end of the semester, I had a really bad blood sugar incident. It was the middle of the night on like Tuesday or something, not even like a significant day. And for whatever reason, my blood sugar just plummeted in the middle of the night, so low that no meter could read it, which is really low and I had to like panic eat food and I'm just sitting on the floor of the kitchen and legitimately it got so low that I passed out. And that was really scary. And I woke up about an hour later and my blood sugar at that point had finally spiked, which was also not healthy, but it was like a rescue situation. And I couldn't help feel like if I hadn't, you know, like fixed it sooner or fixed it in time, there's a possibility that I could have just passed out on the floor and never woken up again. That was really terrifying. And what made it even worse is the thought of like, I don't know if anyone would have noticed for a while. I don't know if anyone would have noticed that I was missing long enough to actually help. I'm sure like at that point you should call 911, but 
When you're that low on your blood sugar, you're not thinking straight. I didn't think to call 911 or help or anything because you can't think anymore. You're just running on instinct. And it's terrifying. I definitely think that part of that is like the reason I am scared to be alone. And because I'm alone, I blame myself for it. Oh, it's because I'm not beautiful enough. Oh, it's because I don't have an interesting personality enough. Oh, it's this or that, whatever. And it's like, I know it's not healthy. I just can't help it. A lot of these things aren't really like trans related, it's more of a me thing, but to a certain point, let me think about how I'm going to phrase this. To a certain point, being trans is just one extra attribute of your life. And it's not like I spend my entire life only as a trans person. I spend it as a redhead, as a 23 year old, as female presenting, as white, as a college student, as broke, you name it. So I think just looking at my life through the trans lens is not very helpful simply because it's not the only thing that I am. I am, as the saying goes, I contain multitudes. And it's not just the gut bacteria this time. <laughs> so, we'll see. I don't, I don't know. <laughs>